Before making a trip, you make sure your car has enough gas to get you to your destination by checking the gas gauge. But it's not that simple when getting ready to launch a rocket into space. Cryogenic propellant systems on vehicles are very complicated. And you want to be able to understand the environment of the propellants and what, what's happening inside these tanks. Especially for a mission assurance for long duration coasts where the propellants might be sloshing or moving around in a low gravity environment. Developing just the right kind of gauge that can check those cryogenic levels has evolved into a partnership between NASA and a small firm in Ohio called Sierra Lobo Incorporated. The firm first began working on cryogenic technologies at NASA Glenn Research Center's Plum Brook Station in Ohio. Since then, they have developed and improved different aspects of what would become a gauge to measure cryogenic fuel called CryoTracker. Each contract enabled us to do a little bit more and we would work with the different centers to develop different pieces of the technology. So it could have been a feed through or it could have been the uh, actual uh, product, uh, CryoTracker probe itself. We may have done some vibration testing with one contract. We may have done some life testing in another contract. Working with the Innovative Partnerships Program, or IPP, at Stennis Space Center, Sierra Lobo had a dual-use technology transfer project. The firm worked with the Stennis engineers to design and develop hardware that allowed wires and instrumentation to take measurements inside a cryogenic fuel test rig. And that feed-through enables the crowd tracker to pass directly out of the propellant tank so that there is no bulkhead electrical connections at the tank wall that may get very cold and may ice up and cause problems. So that program was uh, very helpful in terms of you know, solving a problem that industry you know, was having and also providing some uh, capability to NASA. The company successfully tested a cryotracker probe with Lockheed. Then through a seed fund award from Kennedy Space Center's IPP, they dramatically improved the probe to get it ready for flight qualification. Technology partnerships provide a, a, an excellent opportunity and a, and a forum for us to work together with very innovative companies um, like Sierra Lobo. And typically the, the sum of the, the halves is greater than the whole, where each party is making that contribution and the end product is often much better than if we were to do the development ourselves. Compact, rugged, and lightweight. The probe is virtually a one-piece technology that collects a lot of data about the fuel in the tanks. It can let launch managers know how much mass is on board, predict the margins for usage, and can check the fuel during the mission. Today, the Launch Services Program at Kennedy has several planned projects that will use the CryoTracker probe and is also slated to be used for NASA's Constellation mission.